tell me your offense from the time you got here in the spring to, to where you guys are now? Uh, I say it's night and day. Um, from when I first got here, just the strides that we we've made um, in a lot of different areas, uh, definitely improving every single day. I would say so. I feel like we're on the right track. The, the, the running game isn't something that you can often have at full strength during the month of August. What gives you the most confidence in what you guys have done? Yeah. When, when, when you when you go live on, on week one, that that running game is gonna be something you lead on. Uh, the work that we get um, when pads come on, um, especially being in camp, uh, been a long camp, good one. Um, just the work that the defense gives us, uh, that type of thing. When we get the pads on, it's kind of like we're going, it's not live to the ground, but guys is practicing full speed, full tempo, with thud and the ball carrier. So just the work that we get in practice basis kind of shows me how it would be on Sundays. If you guys have success on the ground on first and second down, obviously that makes your rookie quarterback's life a lot easier. Yeah. Do you think that you know being able to lean on you and the other running backs is a good formula for – for a guy who doesn't have a ton of experience? Uh, early on, it, yes, it, it definitely could be. Um, making sure we stay on track as an offense, first and foremost. Um, don't want to be in no third and longs or anything like that, or second and longs to make it kind of hard on Shane and, uh, and Caleb. So as much as we can help as an offense collectively to make it easier for the quarterback, which we're looking to do so. Who, did you, uh, who do you study when it comes to route running and pass catching? Are, are, yeah. Is there a player or two that you watch film of? Um, Early when I got in the league, it was other backs. Uh, now it's kind of I study my game myself, but uh, a guy that's in our receiver room, um, Keenan, um, especially with the choice routes and everything, um, how he's able to create separation on almost any any route he runs. So we kind of talk back and forth. If I'm if I know I'm on a route, kind of just asking him how that look, bro. Like what you think about this? Um, my releases, stuff like that. We kind of pick each other's brain. People always talk about how special he is at running routes. Yeah. Some of that is stuff you can teach. It's not all God-given. And, and what, is there one, even if it's a real specific thing, that you've learned from him in terms of something you can apply to yourself? Uh, something easy. So I'm going to keep it in-house, but something easy. It's not really, like you said, he's got a lot of God-given ability. But the, um, the thing that he has teach me, taught me since he's been here that I, I appreciate for sure. Paul was saying yesterday that Shane has a way of making – installing things and making it stick for guys and it's not maybe something specific that he does but like his teaching style what have you observed or does that make sense to you that it's yeah, like for sure. something that he sticks how does he get it across exactly that um the verbiage the vocab he kind of like uh i'm not trying to put the offense out there but um he just does a good job of making it easy to remember things yeah i'll put it like that what are the things you've seen out of Bayless since he's joined the running back yeah. room that maybe we don't notice that yeah. give you guys confidence of like, oh, there, there might be something here sure. with Bayless as a running back? It's another guy. I mean, I'm glad that he's in the room. He's probably the funniest guy on the team, but that's outside of um, football talents. Um, his, his energy, his energy, his toughness, um, strong, physical, fast. Um, so this is nothing to go and teach another position like that, and it'd be – natural for a guy once he get the playbook down and stuff like that and allow his uh his natural uh, talents to show. And I believe y'all saw a glimpse of that. Um, Sillin's real high for him. I, lo I love him. Love him. And how would you describe kind of what you see this offensive identity becoming this season? Say that one more time, sorry. How would you describe kind of what you see this offensive identity becoming this season? Uh, a, a great balanced offense that's able to do everything. Run, pass, play action, whatever we need to do to be successful. That's how I see this offense going. With, with that in mind, New here, Shane yeah. is in his first year. Everyone's learning this offense. You have a rookie quarterback. How much of a curiosity factor or unknown is there for you as a player in this office about just what this offense will be in week one? Uh, a lot of unknown. I feel like it's unknown for everybody. Uh, we haven't played a full game yet, as as collectively as a group yet. No, uh, we, we will do that shortly in the, um in a week or so. So um, just really excited, really excited with the work that we put in. I feel like everybody from top to bottom had a, had a solid training camp. Um, we was out here grinding every single day, getting, getting better. So I'm excited to see how everything unfold. With regard to, to that, uh, uh, just the anticipation, is there anything about this offense you see now that differentiates it from other optimist, optimism you've had with previous teams you've been, or is it just pretty much the same? Or is there something about that you see in this offense that gives you even more, that makes it more legit, I guess? More legit? Um... I want to say more legit. I'm just I'm just excited about the guys that I'm working with. Um, working beside you, looking to huddle. You, you got Caleb right there. You got DJ Keenan, the O line, them guys. Um, just the work that we put in. I'm just excited about the mentality of the, of the guys that we have and um, in, the, in this building. I say first and foremost, just as how everybody comes to work uh, for all for one common goal. Andrew, how would you describe 
why guys have responded to Caleb the way they have since he got here. As far as what? So just in terms of, of feeling confidence in him. He's, a, yeah. he's never played a game. Yeah. There seems to be a, this energy that he's created that yeah. you guys believe in him as a leader. For sure, for sure. Um, we all know it's a lot on his plate. Just just how he stays calm with everything. Um, just just his urge to get better. I can't say that enough. Um, yeah, just you could tell he, he, he wants to be great, and that's, that's what you look for. There's going to be ups and downs throughout the season. There's going to be adversity for sure. Um, but uh, he never gets too high, never gets too low. There's always a lot of moving parts on the offensive line, but what have you observed from that unit through camp? And yeah. where's your comfortability level now heading into week one? Real comfortable. Simo uh, does a great job with them guys. Um, you can interchange them however, however you want to. Um, next man, I'm mentality if it has to be that, but I'm real comfortable with everybody in that room. Um, just, just everybody works hard every single day, so real, real, real confident in that group. What goals have you set for yourself individually? Um, individually, I'm a team success. I feel like that's first and foremost. We win, and I'm gonna be a big part of that in some way, shape, or form. So, uh, yeah, team success first. When you were playing for a different team in the division, what was your perception of the Bears from the outside? And you know, I'm sure you've heard people talk about the vibe being different here. Yeah, you kind of you weren't around mm -hmm. the, the previous. Yeah. Um, my perception was a team that always, always plays hard. That's kind of how my perception was. Um, but I feel like now it's, it's 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 a different mentality, a different, different Chicago Bears team. Um, we're gonna see how it unfold for sure. I'm excited. I, I know team success is something that like you said that's first and foremost yeah. for you. But you get a big contract with this team. They clearly see great value in you. What do you want to prove? What do you want to go out there and showcase individually? Um, be exactly uh where I am and why they bought me here. Um, continue to perform, first and foremost, continue to produce at a high level and uh, put the league on notice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you feeling physically? Are you feeling ready for the regular season to start and all that? Yeah, I'm definitely feeling ready. Um, first, you know, a couple of days, got back, made some plays on the ball. So I definitely feel good. Was it challenging to be out during such a pivotal preseason for you guys? Yeah, definitely challenging to be out. You know, wanting to be out there with the guys, wanting to get, you know, reps out there, you know, um, just continue to create our chemistry and things like that. But um, couldn't be out there, but did a lot of walkthrough reps and things like that. So got my mental right, for sure. I like chemistry with secondary, especially Kevin, who's been, you guys both been in and out a little bit. But yeah. The chemistry um, is great, to be honest. It's great. You know, guys getting turnovers. Guys are, you know, having a lot of energy out there. So I'm not really too worried about the defensive chemistry or anything like that. So I feel like we're right where we need to be. We could continue to get better. Is there anything you and Kevin did to kind of jumpstart that chemistry so you can hit the ground running week one? Say it again. Is there anything you and Kevin did to, to jumpstart your chemistry since this is your first time playing next week? Uh, I'll say just in the beginning, just me reaching out to him, um, and then his communication, you know, in the meeting room, um, his dialogue and things like that, or back and forth, you know, um, with the coaches too. You know, I feel like it's been great. Um, relationship is very tight, and I feel like we're gonna have a great year. Well, I hope you noticed Coach Ibrahimus evolve <clears throat> since you got here with him in 2022. Just, um, just getting comfortable, getting better, you know, as a coach, um, just overall. Um, getting closer with the guys and things like that. And, you know, obviously him having more swag, I'll say. Swag. <laughs> <laughs> Just with his, um, his, say it again. What do you like about the, uh, the Iberflus makeup? The fade, got to start off with the fade first. Um, but um, just his, his swag, defensive-wise, his, his energy and things like that, you can feel it. Um, he's definitely getting comfortable, but the chemistry is just growing overall, and you can feel it in the room, so it's great. What ways do you see his kind of fingerprints on the defense right now and, and the things that he likes to do translating into what, what you guys do well? We just do a lot of different things, I'll say. Um, just a lot of different things with, which works to our ability. So I feel like um, everybody eats in this defense, so it's going to be good. How do, you, how do you compare the feeling of this defense versus the one you stepped into as a rookie where you guys are giving up 30 points every single week? You don't have – you're having players that are being offloaded as the season goes mm -hmm. to this. Uh, it, it's a huge difference. Um, my first year, I feel like I really didn't know too many people at all. Um, this year, especially what we did in the off season, you know, I know those guys. Um, I know their backgrounds and things like that. Um, and I know where they come from. and. We know each other's story, which is, you know, why we could play for each other. And plus, we played with each other last year, and then we added a couple pieces this year, so it just makes it even more special. So I feel like um, this year you could feel 
you know, the, we got guys everywhere. Like you look at the left, the right corner, the the backers to the D line, like to the safeties. There's guys everywhere. So compared to my first year last, I mean to this year, you know, I know the guys and everybody playmakers. What about the same kind of question, but about the secondary specifically coming from a situation where you walk in and jobs are there to take. Mm -hmm. Versus uh, now, I think you guys have players on the bench that could start on some other team. For real, um, I agree with you. Just um, my first year, like you said, you know, we got guys everywhere, the left corner, nickel to the right corner to, you know, safety. So I feel like um, we got a lot of playmakers. Do you feel like you guys are going to be more aggressive this year? Felt like over the course of the summer, we saw blitzing from nickel, from the safety, linebackers. I feel aggressive. like, that? yeah, I feel like we'll be balanced, but definitely aggressive. We got that type of defense, um, especially with the corners. They could cover, and then our safeties could cover also, but they could make plays on the ball. So, um, yeah, I, I feel like we'll be balanced. Do you have any individual goals for yourself this season? Individual goals, um, really make the playoffs. That's my, you know, that's my goal, and then everything else handle itself on my side. So just make the playoffs, and then, um, you know, all pro pro ball things like that. When as someone who considers himself a leader, not just on the defense, but of everybody in the team, what what kind of relationship did you develop with Caleb? Have you gotten to know him mm -hmm. any better than you would, you know, somebody even on, on defense, or do you get? You, Get any idea, any insight to really what it is makes him tick or any kind of relationship you have know, with him? Yeah, definitely got to know him. Um, texting him in the offseason, things like that. We always go back and forth, um, you know, during text, you know, what he sees, what I see, and things like that. And then on the field, you know, we're the competitor. You know, I'm trying to, you know, get everything out of him, even though he's not going to say anything too much. But um, just trying to, you know, get the fire out of him, see, you know, um, try to test him, things like that. But definitely building our late relationship on and off the field. Yesterday, we just got a handshake. So stay tuned. It's coming the first game. <laughs> <laughs> you talked a little bit this offseason about the goal to be top five defense, one of those great defenses. What kind of conversations do you guys as teammates on defense have about those goals? And where do you see this group in terms of that, that progression? Yeah, really just being where our feet are um, every single day. Um, just being where our feet are, you know, guys just being consistent. Um, we just got to continue to work hard. And then where I see ourselves today is really just, you know, continue to, you know, get better every single day. You know, we're not where we need to be, but, um, you know, we're going to get there and, you know, we're going to be a top five defense. And we expect that this year, uh, especially with a rookie quarterback, you know, we're going to have a lot of big shoulders. So um, every day is, you know, big for us. What have you seen throughout the course of camp that leads you to believe you guys can be that top five unit? Um, just, you know, our chemistry, the way we're flying around, the way we're making plays, but really the preseason. Um, you know, even though we weren't all out there, you could just see it. Um, the preseason, you know, showed it. We never looked like that our first, my first two years. Um, I, I remember my first two years um, when Mahomes came in here, um, Josh Allen came in here, they drove down and scored the first touchdown. You look at our first series, it stops after stops. And you look at practice, it stops after stops, turnovers after turnovers. So there's a difference in this defense, and uh, we're not there yet, but we'll continue to get better. Juan, how, many, how, many, how many different guys you got handshakes with now? It seems like there's a whole series of them sometimes. Yeah, everybody on the defense, and then I'm working my, my office guys now. <laughs> I just got one with Caleb Rome yesterday. I'm working on Keenan. I'm, I'm cooking some up for Keenan and the rest of those guys. So stay tuned. You have to go study all these. That's a lot, of, a lot to remember. <laughs> yeah, we just got to keep. It's a repetition thing. We just got to keep. Remember it? You know what I mean? It's a repetition thing. So just trying to get it right. <laughs> Question that I yielded to. <laughs> I'm sure you're great. When, when, when you have rookie quarterbacks, a lot of times, and you're in this position now as a more experienced players player, you can you can trick them. Um, there's stuff they haven't seen that you know that they don't know. Uh, and I'm sure there's been a lot of that that you guys, as a as an experienced defense, have done to Caleb in training camp. Has there been a time or times where you feel like he got one by on you? Um, definitely, I'll say. Um, not with the disguise wise, but definitely a good ball in a two minute um, earlier in camp. Um, I, I was he was rolling out to his right. I thought he was going to throw a little back shoulder, but he actually led him, you know, to get open, which was a touchdown. So I'll say um, that was a good play for him. But other than that, um, you know, now doing what now does. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you seeing that and thinking, um, you know, oh, he's not going to be able to make that pass? Oh, I don't have to necessarily worry about that pass, and then mm -hmm. he, then he did it. Yeah. To his right, like um, KB said earlier, you know, his accuracy goes up like 100 times more. So um, just me guessing, anticipating, well, guessing, which led to the touchdown, which messed me up. But, um, you know, really, 
thinking he's going to throw the back shoulder like he did the first practice, but he ended up leading the receiver because he trusts his receiver and the speed. So um, just, you know, him being smart and then him taking advantage of that play. Thank you. Yo, thank you. Appreciate y'all. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.